the IRE monomers are transmembrane proteins. They are present in the ER membrane. Each IRE1 monomer has a BIP binding site on its luminal domain to which the BIP is bound. The cytosolic domain of each IRE1 monomer has a specific RNA endonuclease. This RNA endonuclease is present in its inactive form. Accumulating unfolded proteins in the ER lumen binds to the bound BIP molecule. This binding releases the BIP molecules from the monomeric IRE1. Now, unfolded proteins with bound BIP are present in the ER lumen. Two IRE monomers then undergo dimerization to produce IRE1 dimer. This dimerization then activates the RNA endonuclease activity of each IRE1 monomer. The cytosolic unspliced HSC1 mRNA then binds to the activated RNA endonucleases of IRE1 dimer. The activated RNA endonuclease portion of IRE1 dimer then cleaves the unspliced HSC1 mRNA. The fragments of HSC1 mRNA leaves the active RNA endonuclease site of the IRE1 dimer. These endonuclease cut HSC1 mRNA fragments are considered as axon 1 and axon 2. These two axons are joined to form functional HSC1 mRNA. The functional HSC1 mRNA undergoes translation to produce proteins called as HSC1 transcription factors. These HSC1 transcription factors then moves towards the nucleus and through the nuclear pore they enter into the nucleus. In the nucleus, HSC1 transcription factors binds to the specific regions of the DNA. This binding of HSC1 transcription factors to the DNA activates the transcription. This transcription produces an mRNA. This mRNA then moves out from the nucleus through the nuclear pore and reaches to the cytosol. In the cytosol, this mRNA then undergoes translation to produce protein folding catalysts. Please like, subscribe and share.